energy from the Earth itself, enough to power the entire facility. It can be diverted to activate the sleeper as well, should that become necessary. A model of efficiency and ingenuity, if I do say so myself. I have come a long way, Zola. Waste my time at your peril. <laughs> May I present, with my compliments, the perfected Super Soldier Serum. At last. A small amount, to be sure, but from this we can synthesize enough to create... You! The Serum! You made it from his blood. I'll give you more. From his corpse! Iron Cross! This time, you may kill him. Painfully. Oh, Fiedersehen. I don't cross! Keep him back while I awaken the sleeper! Don't be a fool, Skull. You can't control that thing. It'll bring the whole mountain down. Yes! On you!
complete. Control that thing. It'll bring the whole mountain down. Yes! On you! Kill the behind mine!
incompetence! Very well. I suppose it's only right to die by my hand. Reed, the skull got away, but I found some blueprints and they show a lot more power being diverted to the northern chapel. I think that's where they're holding Fallsworth. Copy. I want in on this, Cap, and no arguments. You won't get any from me. 
Fallsworth could be in bad shape. I'll need help getting him out. You and Duke can get back inside. Hell yes! We're gearing up and on our way. Thanks, Buck. See you at the chapel.
Advances in armored ordnance have always been held back by the problem of mobility across difficult terrain. Inspired by the old world decor of this castle, I hit upon a new approach. The modern knight in armor. The result is the first bipedal walking tank in history. A single pilot, highly armored battle suit. The recoil of conventional ballistics would affect the accuracy of this unit. So I took another approach. A cannon that fires concussive sound. Deafening and disorienting. It wreaks havoc with the inner ear. With the target in agony, it is a simple matter for the pilot to close ranks and crush the opponent with brute force. To reflect the historic inspiration for this unit, I have dubbed it Iron Cross. A noble name for what will one day be a new force of knights spreading the glory of Hydra throughout the world. <laughs>